Okay, everybody, let's begin working our chest with the band chest press. You're gonna put one foot in front, bending your knee, then get resistance from the band. Then you're gonna press. Remember, you're gonna press extending your arms completely, keeping your body stable. Make sure you are in the middle of the band. Then count two seconds back. Let's do 10 repetitions. And when you finish, just walk back. Next, we're gonna do curls. So officially, with a part when you need to put out chest out, have your core, keep your elbows close to your body, then keep your wrists straight. So don't open your elbows and don't push them back. Keep it in line with your body. Then curl, flexing your elbows, of course, bringing those weights all the way to your shoulders and counting two seconds down when you're extending. Let's do 10 repetitions. Next, we're doing the Romanian deadlift with a barbell. I have a step on the bottom so I can do the whole range of motion. If I don't do that, then the weights hit the floor faster, not doing the whole range of motion. Anyway, you feel shoulder width apart, slightly bend your knees, then push your butt and chest out, leaning forward. Focus on pushing your butt and chest out, leaning forward. Keep that bar close to your legs and then come all the way up, extending your whole body, and then do the same thing. Don't go out, lean forward and let's do 10 repetitions next we're gonna battle the rope doing the waves and kneeling at the same time you can alternate or you can do the same leg it's up to you but what you want to do is as you weigh the rope you want to kneel stepping back kneeling and then follow with the other foot and then bringing that leg forward and stand up again so Continue battling the rope as you're kneeling and as you're coming up and down. We're gonna be doing one minute of this exercise. Remember when you finish, you want to take a minute break and then repeat these four exercises three times more. So that means that you're repeating this four times total. Don't forget to continue waving, moving your arms, your biceps, not your whole body, your arms up and down as you kneel and coming up. Good job. Next, we're gonna be doing walking lunges by bending both knees 90 degrees, doing a long step. Heel in front should be completely fat, flat. And then what you wanna do is come up completely. Don't just go halfway, completely come up and then switch, bringing that kettlebell in between your legs, leaving enough space so you can swing that kettlebell in between coming up completely. Let's do 20 repetitions total. Next, we're gonna be working our core, but doing the side plank. If your shoulder dislocate, this is not a good exercise for you. Otherwise, you are fine doing this exercise. You want to put your elbow right below your shoulder, picking up your hips and your foot that it is on top, of course. You wanna put it on top of your other foot. Keep your body completely stable and straight. Don't Push your butt back or don't lean forward. You want to be a straight like a board all the time. If you notice right here, I have my hand up because I'm pushing my chest out, but I'm not leaning forward, twisting my body. I keep my body completely straight like a board. So we're going to do 30 seconds in one side and then we we'll do 30 seconds on the other side. Okay, now we're gonna be working our back by doing alternating bent over row. So officially with a part, slightly bend your knees, butt out, chest out, then tie your core. You're gonna alternate one arm at a time. So extend both arms, and then what you wanna do is bring that elbow up to the ceiling, 
and extend it and then bring the other one up to the ceiling if you notice right here I support my back a little bit by resting my elbow on my knee slightly for cardio we're gonna do the low squat hop so we're gonna be squatting hopping forward Staying low all the time to the end of the studio and then we turn around and we're gonna do the same thing. So stay squatting and then hop without coming up. Your body's gonna stay low all the time. Then get to the other side of the room and we're gonna do the same thing. Stay low, hop, squatting, not coming up and that's it. Let's do one minute of this exercise. Remember to repeat these exercises four times, taking a minute break in between. And good job. Let's find out what are the next exercises. Okay, now we're gonna be working our abs by doing the rollout. Right here, I'm doing it on my toes. You can do it on your knees if it gets too difficult. The whole point on this exercise is to keep your whole body out straight and then coming back straight. Don't drop your hips first or leave your hips behind. You want your whole body to go out completely and come back your whole body completely. Now, if it gets too difficult, don't go all the way to the floor. Go halfway, but keep your great form. Coming out and coming back. Let's do 10. Next, we're going to be doing the skull crushes with the plate. So you grab the plate in front of you, then lie down with it. And then you're going to flex your elbows 90 degrees with your elbow, pointing up to the ceiling, and then extend your arms completely with the plate coming up straight to your side. And then do the same movement. That plate should be close to your head. And let's do 10 repetitions. When you finish, just sit, do a sit up with it in front of you and leave the plane in front of you. Okay, next we're gonna be working our shoulders by doing lateral raises. You wanna bring those weights straight to the side, up and count in two seconds down. Your stance should be feet shoulder width apart. When you need, go out, chest out, tie your core. Your wrist should be completely straight. Slightly bend your elbows and control the weight when you're coming up. Once again, you shin your shoulders and let's do 10 repetitions. For the cardio, we are gonna be doing the squat thrust with the kick out. So we're gonna do squat thrust by jumping up, squatting, throwing our legs back, and then we're gonna do the kick out. So with your left, hand you're gonna support yourself and then with your left foot you're gonna kick to the side rotating your core and then we're gonna do the opposite side with the right side you're gonna hold yourself and then rotate your body kicking out with your right foot you're gonna be alternating every single squat thrust that we do so let's do this for a whole minute remember to keep your core, your core very strong all the time when you do that rotation and your core should be strong but your body should be able to rotate so don't stiffen up one thing is being strong the other one is being stiff so let's do one let's do this for a whole minute and that's it you have to complete the whole program good job